Tears from a Palestinian boy too young to understand it, and anguish cries from a mother who knows it too well. The toll is told in human terms as Palestinian militants heave scores of rockets toward Israel, many targeting the capital of Jerusalem. In retaliation, Israel staged airstrikes along the West Bank, one hitting a 12-story residential building that reportedly housed militant Hamas officials. Israel sent warning shots in advance so people could get out of the building. Sirens wailed in Tel Aviv. At least two Israelis were killed, the toll much higher on the other side, with at least 26 Palestinians, including nine children, dead as of this morning. The United States and other countries appealed to both sides to stop the violence. We call for restraint and for calm. Israel has the right to defend itself uh, and to respond to rocket attacks. The Palestinian people also have the right to safety and security. The trigger for the latest conflict was a police raid on a mosque to disperse crowds of stone-throwing protesters with tear gas. In barely 12 hours, militants fired nearly 500 rockets into Israel. Israel had carried out at least 130 retaliatory airstrikes. The indiscriminate launching of rockets and mortars towards Israeli population centers is unacceptable. This spiraling escalation must cease immediately. The explosions in the Middle East reverberated with the sounds of protest here in New York. Activists staged what they called an emergency rally for Palestine. As many as a thousand people took part just across the street from the Israeli consulate. They waved the Palestinian flag in the face of the Israeli flag waved by counter-protesters. There were a few confrontations. Police made at least one arrest. The crowd chanted, free, free Palestinians, and end the occupation. To give the Palestinians the rights and to go back to the minimum 1967 borders. It's the dawning of a new day right now in Israel, but the violence has not abated. So tomorrow, the 15-member Security Council, they'll all get together in private session in hopes of brokering some kind of a ceasefire. Meantime, it's been learned that the United States is reluctant to sign a statement that would call on Israel to cease all activity in their settlements. And that's been a flashpoint in this ongoing conflict. Live at the United Nations, I'm Marvin Scott, PIX11 News, Corey Tamsin.